side to side. Then I let the Alpine play. I was pumping new shit by and W. Hey guys! Okay, hey, what's up? Oh my god, can we talk about this? <laughs> this is so stupid. Alright, actually, um, when I, I, it's very rarely I get compliments. I feel like, are you, I don't know, I feel like that's not true. Like, a lot of you guys are like, you know what's funny, like, whenever I'm out, oh, that's cute. Whenever I'm out, um, and I'm, like, wearing my jewelry, no one ever, like, comes up to me and is like, oh my god, like, no one comes to me ever and, like, compliments me, you know what I mean? And I get, like, so many emails from you guys saying, oh my god, like, everyone always compliments me when I'm wearing your jewelry, like, my husband always notices when I'm wearing my, your jewelry, like, like, I'm not, I feel like I don't get noticed, okay? Anyway, I got noticed the other day by, um, this really nice woman who, whatever, we don't going to have to go through it, but she's like, you look like a princess angel, okay? Like, what the fuck? It's like the best compliment in the world. She's like, you just, you look so beautiful. What you're wearing right now, you better take note of what you're wearing right now, okay? And recreate that. So I want to show you guys what I was wearing the other day, because like literally, and can we tell, can we say right now? I don't want to see anything other than an orange, like based eyeshadow, like, um, literally orange or tan, like I told you guys, looks like you were freaking dead girl as fuck on the beach. You have been like burnt to death and like your eye sockets are like sunburnt as shit, okay? That's what I want you to look like. Or that's what I want to look like. That's all I want to see right now. Okay, you guys know my dilemma with this palette is it's like so overwhelming for me. Like this is, it gives me so anxi much anxiety. I hate every single color except for like four colors. This is the color right here. So do you guys have this palette? This is the Morphe... 350 and then nature glow i'll put the links to everything i'm talking about below this right here okay i love this palette a lot i fucking love it okay and i think that um hopefully i get like my channel grows so that morphe can look at me and i can collab with them to do a palette i'm not fucking kidding because this is unacceptable there's too many ugly colors in here and i'm way more picky than them obviously and i'm like the new makeup guru oh my god shut the fuck up okay here we go i love this color and i love this brush so much this is like the perfect brush ever this is an old trish brush that i have you guys know i love trish mecca boy brushes and it's just it applies it so perfectly because i'm not like doing any blendings i don't add like 400 colors like people do like it's just one color and like that's it like sunburns like one color okay so i'm gonna like literally run out of this color Ugh! took the wrong one i'm gonna literally run out of this color Because now that someone told me I look like a princess angel, I was just like, like, oh my God, really? Like, no one ever compliments me on anything. And I'm like, you know what the other thing was me? I don't believe anyone. Like, when someone's like, oh my God, you look so pretty. Like, I don't believe them. Like, I can't take a compliment. Um, but I believed her. Like, I just believed her. Like, I, I don't know what it is about her. Like, I, I believed her. She really meant it. I could tell she really meant it. Okay, then I'm going to take more with this brush. And, um, like, literally, I'm putting it, like, I'm like, putting it like, on my skin, actually. I'm also back to doing, um, like, more, like, Asian, I guess, style eyebrows. Remember, like, last year, I was doing, like, super, like, I feel like Korean style eyebrow. And then, I don't know why I stopped for a while, but I'm back to doing that. They're more just, like, straight, you know what I mean, rather than, like, any arch. I think it's, like, I was, like, looking back at some of my photos, and I was, like, oh, I like the way I did my eyebrows back then. I'm also going to be using this Tom Ford, this eyebrow gel, which I actually don't love, honestly. I feel like um, it's, it's like waterproof, I think, so it's just hard to get on. I like my Givenchy one better. Um, but the makeup place that I go to is close to my house um, because I'm like a hermit. You guys, I don't fucking really do anything other than things that are comfortable for me. Um... Um, 
they only had this. They didn't have Givenchy, so whatever. Like, I'm gonna fucking not. I'm not gonna like. And going, Sephora is like in Beverly Hills, and it's like on one of like the streets I don't really go to. It's like kind of out of the way, and like my valet isn't near there, so I'm just not gonna make it over there. And then I don't know how to order. Oh my god, fuck. Okay. Um. So I'll just like get what I don't like and complain about it. Cause I know you guys love that. So happy birthday. Happy fucking birthday. Okay, that's it. And I'm doing the blinking thing again. I don't know why. It is what it is, guys. Okay. The key really is to just like make sure that you really don't have anything drawn on right here. It's like so gross. Okay, my boots are fine. Okay. just love this eye makeup i just love it do you guys like it you know what it is it's like it is totally sunburnt dead alex on the beach rather than dead girl it's like 1970s dead girl on the beach ish i don't know okay so speaking of like beach and like on the beach and sun i have a new product from uh color science i want to share with you and i I really, really genuinely love Color Science and I love the people at Color Science too. They are so like focused on good, good products. They're always so nice to me. I just, I love that group and I love their products. So I love working with them. But they have a new, and I love working with them, especially because when I work with them, they give us, they give you a free item. And I have to say, I kind of want to show the free item first because I was so impressed when I tried it on my hand, the free item, but I should, that's a free item, right? It's not free, I know they offer it, but um, it's free for you guys. Let me, I'll wait for that, okay? Let me show like the real item first. Okay, so it's a um, brush on sunscreen, but it's more than a brush on sunscreen, you guys. This is gonna protect you, it's a brush, let me show you. So here's the front, here's the package. It says, um, hold on, I used it, so Color Science, let me say it like the brands like that, Color Science, and it's SPF 50, Sun Forgettable Brush on Sunscreen, SPF, um, I said SPF 50. Okay, and um, what is so much better than just sun protecting, it protects against any blue light, so TVs, computers, any screens, and like that has to be affecting our skin, right? Like I actually never thought about that until they were telling me about this brush, sunscreen stuff, I was like, oh. Like, I never thought about that. You know, it's not just sun anymore. So um, I was really stoked on that. The brush itself is antimicrobial. So it's not going, you don't have to brush, wash it. You don't have to wash your brushes all the time. You don't have to wash this brush. Like, that's so fucking cool. I love that. Also, the formula itself is really hydrating. And I really like that because I feel like with, with me, you guys know I don't like powders. So when they told me it was hydrating, I was like, oh my God, that's so good. Because I do like to only apply powders when I'm dry in certain spots. But the fact that it's hydrating, it like speaks to me. You know what I mean? It's good for you and it's going to be hydrating. So it's not going to like leave you gross. You know what I mean? So I want to show you guys how to use this. Um... I'm gonna fluff it up. It's gonna, and it's, it's gonna take a, it takes a couple minutes. Like, it honestly, I was like, wait, is this broken? I'm like, no, it's not. And they told me to. They're like, make sure you, like, I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Sorry. You're supposed to just, like, you know, swish it around. Okay. And then when you see the powder coming out, which I do, then you can put it on. And this is something you should be putting on, like, a lot. Especially because we use, I mean, I just think they said, like, only every two hours or something, but. I want to show you guys when I put this on, not only does it give you a finish, like a really nice finish, but there's almost a glow. I don't know if you can tell because the light, but there's a glow in this too. And I think it's because of the hydrating in it. Um, but I love it. Not to mention, I know it's going to protect me from using all the screens. I'm working with my freaking phone all day long, computer all day long. And I don't know. I just feel like this is such a great thing to have with you at work, outside. You guys need this. This is something that I think we just need in our life. It's kind of like a life need thing, honestly, like, honestly, honestly. So that's this. And then um, I'm going to give you, you need, you actually do fucking need this. Okay, so this is need pile. Remember guys, so you like, thresh it out. You need this. This is one of those. Um, but I just was so, I was like, oh my God, like I never thought about how like the screens are affecting my face. This is like a new thing, right? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the freaking free gift, which is a deluxe size actually, okay. Let me just show you this. This is a uh, bronzing primer, three-in-one face prom primer, okay? And it has 20 SPF and it. it's water resistant. Okay, but it's a bronzing perfecting primer. Let me show you on my, on my um, hand how gorgeous it is, okay. Honest to God, when I put it on my hand, I was like, ugh, it's a little bit, um, 
I thought it was like two brands. I was like, this is not my color. Wait till I massage this into my hand. Look at this amazing, beautiful suntan I get in not the cheesy way at all. Like I cannot wait to use this during the summer. So looks bad, right? Does not look good right now. I'm just going to be honest. Like keep rubbing it, keep rubbing it. I was shocked and I wanted you guys to see how, I wish you could feel how soft my freaking skin is after it. Can you see the difference? You can totally see, right? It's just like the perfect tan color and it gives you the best finish. So this is gonna be free and it's a deluxe size. It's not travel or like whatever. So I'm gonna put the link to this up below. This is something that we like really need to get. You need to get this plus this is perfect for summer. This is like the best, actually this is not only summer. This is all year round. I don't know the the like the blue screen thing with like the the TV and like the computers and the phone really threw me for for loop. I was like, oh my god, like ugh, such an amazing thing. Except I'm gonna say when you guys get it, make sure you um, don't think it's broken. It takes a while. Like you know, every like product with um powder or like a powder brush takes a while, but it totally is hydrating. I can fucking see how it's like making my face glow when I put it on. I love it, but I love, I'm like a big color science fan, so. All right, next. Next, I'm gonna show you guys um, a lipstick that I just got from Bobbi Brown, and it's in, um, like I said, I'll put all these links below. Make sure you guys use the code to get that free thing. Did I say that? Yeah, whatever, okay, I said. Um, Crushed, this is called Cabana by Bobbi Brown, and I really like it with this eyeshadow. It, it makes me look like, um, I'm not gonna say it. you're gonna think I'm stupid, so I'm just not gonna. I can't share. You gotta be like Alex, you're out of control. Like it just makes me look like I was like the prettiest girl ever, and I just like died on the beach. That's what it makes me look like. <laughs> but I'm not kidding. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put bronzer. I'm gonna put some bronzer on. I'm gonna put some of the Victoria Beckham bronzer on. I think. Oh my gosh, one of my subbies got this for me. I bet you he's watching. I love it so much. This is what I carry with me. I'm going to put my color science in here. I love this thing so much. It's so cute. Um, okay, and then I'm going to fluff this on my face. Actually, I'm just going to... I like just to do that. To get like a bronze... A little bit of a bronze contour. Actually, I could have used that color science primer right there and just rubbed it in. That would have been really pretty. I should have done that. Oh, well. Hey, I was like, I'm just going to do like a vlog. I'm just going to, actually, I'm not. I'm doing, some, we're just hanging out, okay? I have things to do, actually. Okay, this morning, I'm all over the place. I told you I'm on one today. Um, so this morning, I, you guys know my house is from like the 1950s. It's like literally a shack, okay? And um, I had to like deal with plumbers and stuff, but like like legit plumbers, not like a clogged toilet, okay? It's not that. Like like legit plumbing issues. Um, so they were here for a while and I'm getting a late start now. But I have like so many things to show you. I feel like I have like fucking things to show you, but I don't wanna be like, oh my God, like look at my new shit. It's so stupid. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I kinda, cause I kinda like wanna get out of the house. I haven't been out of the house yet. Also, I have some news to share about my diet. I will share it right now, actually. Um, so I have been doing two things lately. Okay, so the Lean Cuisine, um, the Lean Cuisine diet totally works for me, except I kind of fell off the bandwagon a little bit. Like I went to my parents' house and like my we went out to dinner and like I've been drinking a little bit, like hanging out with my group of friends and just having fun and that does not fit into like my diet. So I'm like trying to get back back on track, but also. Um, I, I remember when I was like really skinny two years ago, like actually I thought I was so fat, but I was like skinnier. Um, I was doing, what you guys know, I, when I started, first started vlogging like one or two or three years ago, I don't remember. Um, I literally only ate one meal a day and please let's just shut up right now. I don't give a fuck and I'm not telling you to do this. So just please calm the fuck down. So annoying. Okay. Anyone out there who's like, oh my God, she's like, she's pushing like her agenda or she's pushing her like unhealthy weight and like affecting people because they listen to her like no shut up do whatever the fuck you want free country here it is okay we're in the united states here anyway this is what i did i literally ate only one meal a day so i would have like that's not true in the morning i would have coffee and i would have half a pastry you guys remember like when i used to get half a pastry and like throw throw the other half away i got in big trouble for that too because apparently i was supposed to like take it and bring it to a homeless person or something oh oh my god okay anyway so I would have like half of a pastry of my choice and like black coffee and I would go to work. I'd work all day long, like no snacks, nothing. And I'd come home and I would get nachos. Do you guys remember that? How I'd go to Rubio's and get nachos. Okay. So problem is I've moved and there's like no Rubio's near me anymore. 
but I'm so stoked. I found like the best fucking place ever for nachos. So I've been doing like takeout nachos again. I cannot wait to show you guys, except the truth is with these nachos, I get so sick every time I eat them. Um, like, I don't know what it is. It's like, I feel like there's too much like lard in the beans, but I fucking love the beans so much, like more than I love the carne asada, I love the beans. So I just get like very sick, like just a sick stomach and I go to bed like sick. So I go to bed early because I feel so sick, but it's like so worth it. Um, and then if you guys don't know about my nachos, I, a lot of you guys do, I should put like, a quiz right now, anyone below. How do I get my nachos? If you're a true HRH fan, you will know how I get my fucking nachos, right? Um, I get my nachos just chips. I get no cheese and no sour cream. So I just get basically chips, um, beans, carne asada, fuck ton of salsa, guacamole, and I get a, like a huge layer of lettuce on top. And you have to like make friends. If you're gonna be going to like this, your takeout place, you have to like make friends with like the girl, the guy at the front so that they really know you're crazy. And cause they hate like, people hate having to do substitutions, right? But like the girl at the front like knows me. She's like, okay, got it. Like we'll do, we'll get, we'll get you what you want. She's like, nice to me now. Um, and they also have the best Diet Coke in like a huge white and red Coca-Cola like cup, which I love. Like it's all about the cup, it's all about the soda to syrup ratio, like this place is on. The salsa bar can be improved, but whatever. It's like a mom and pop place. I'm not gonna complain. Um, I'm just really, really like, I'm like very happy about it. So I'll, I'm gonna get nachos tonight and then we'll eat nachos tonight too, but I'm not gonna, I'm having one meal a day. Actually, it's not true. I fucked up today again because when I was waiting with, because the plumbers, they made me sit home. Like when I'm around food, like, and I'm not doing anything, I'll fuck up, you know? So I didn't have a meal, but I had I think I had something. I had half a papaya and I had I had some tortilla chips. So it's basically a fucking meal. So I'm just a fat pig today as usual. Um, and then I want to show you guys, I want to show you guys like my jacket I got. I got a jean jacket and I know you guys, a lot of you guys want to see it. Um, I'm going to show you some of my new sunglasses. Okay, I have like so many things to show you and so much stuff to do. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. Do I? I don't know. I don't know. And by the way, I'm like on fire on t today on fucking Insta stories. Like, I don't know, I was just like all about being on Insta stories today. Uh. <laughs> um. Oh, it's so cute. Sorry, I saw a bunny on here. Okay, um, so that's it. Like, I'm trying to think what else. I guess we'll just, I, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Ugh, I don't know. What am I going to show you guys? I was just, I was like stupid, stupid. Um, what I want to do, okay, actually, you know what? I, did I show you guys? I wanted this morning. Actually, I'm talking, I'm told you I'm on one today. I don't know what my problem is. I'm like, sometimes my like head runs, like rambles, like, oh, I don't know. I can't like control myself, which is what it is. But um, I, if you guys were following me on Instagram, um, you'd see that I brought, I have this, um, fig leaf, fiddle fig, fiddle fig, fiddle fig leaf. Um, I hope you guys are following me on Instagram because I feel like I've been doing a lot of stories lately and like stuff. And so it's almost like many vlogs. Like, and I even asked, I was like, are you guys fucking sick of me yet? You know what I mean? Um, and so I hope you're not, but so I brought my fiddle fig, fiddle fig, fiddle leaf fig outside because I just like felt guilty like she's like propped up in the corner and I just kind of felt bad for her and I wanted to I don't take good enough care of, the, of her as much as I should honestly um and I she's like still alive so I'm like really grateful to her like I know it sounds so stupid but okay yeah I, I don't know I just things that are mine like my animals like my plants I have like a very weird attachment to like they're like but it might as well be human um so I I need to but I, I need to like wash her leaves off because I feel like she's dusty and I just feel so guilty about it. Um, so we can do that now together. But, so this morning I was like outside and oh, I'm wearing the, so these are solid sterling silver just so you guys know. Um, my chevalier and my chain rings before they were plated but now I offer st solid sterling silver as well. So you can get them both in solid sterling which means you can just wear them as you wear them. You can like take, you, you, you shouldn't wear, really shouldn't wear any jewelry in the shower honestly if you won't like just if you shouldn't but um, you know you can, it's not a problem if you do. Okay, so I'm gonna wash my little fig leaf cause she's like so nice, like she's like such a nice 
tree and I feel like I'm not that nice to her you know what I mean okay I'm gonna put this over here I'm just gonna set you guys down what the fuck I'm doing I'm trying to find somewhere to put you I'm washing my damn tree okay so, okay are you gonna fall please don't fall and crack can you see yeah okay you can see So these are solid sterling silver, just so you guys know. Um, my Chevalier and my chain rings, before they were plated, but now I offer st solid sterling silver as well. So you can get them both in solid sterling, which means you can just wear them as you wear them. You can like take, you, you, you shouldn't wear, really shouldn't wear any jewelry in the shower, honestly, if you want, like just if you shouldn't, but um, you know, you can, it's not a problem if you do. Okay, so I'm gonna wash my little fig leaf because she's like so nice, like she's like such a nice, tree and I feel like I'm not that nice to her you know what I mean okay I'm gonna put this over here I'm just gonna set you guys down fuck what I'm doing I'm trying to find somewhere to put you I'm washing my damn tree okay so, okay are you gonna fall please don't fall and crack can you see yeah okay you can see can you see me can you see me oh my god I look like a fat ass whale look like a fat ass whale Fast way up, <laughs> probably. I gotta wash her leaves off though. I just feel like really bad for her. Like I just feel like she's been like, she's like like so good. You know what I mean? Am I have I lost it? Whatever. Let's show everyone how beautiful you are. Let's show everyone how how beautiful you are. Can you guys see how beautiful Moomba is? Look at her little barrette. It's a little star. Hey, you have a little star. Look here. Look right there. Look right there. You have a small star here. Hey. Hey. Alright. I'm sure my neighbors love me. Um, okay. I want to show you guys, okay, you guys know this, right? This, you guys have seen my um, lariat, right? This is my new Orion lariat, and um, there you can see it now. It's so pretty. Um, a lot of, okay, so my Orion necklace, which is made of this sparkly little tiny little chain, it's really gorgeous. Looks like it, with every little move um, or turn, look at that. It just, like, looks like there's spark, like little stars dancing on your neck. Um, so that short, I have a short necklace of it, and I have, like, a 19-inch necklace of it. And the short one was, like, my first Orion, and it's so, so popular. That's literally one of the most, most popular items in my entire line. So I have now made a... Um, lariat version and just so you guys know whoever has my other lariats this is a different length and you guys know that with my line I make everything so that you can layer whatever you want so you don't have to think about it like everything mixes and matches and so if you ever have an, another lariat you can layer it with this because it's probably going to sit either here or here whatever anyway so I'm having a promotion right now I want you guys to know that if you buy my new Orion lariat which I'll put below you can get um the a, a the Orion necklace, which I'll put on, a little necklace, like a short necklace, for only $10. So it's just one of the most coveted chains I have. Everyone loves it so much. It's so delicate, goes everything. It's like an everyday piece. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, it's just so pretty, I love it. It's and this is a gold one. It's available in gold, silver, and rose gold. Okay, so this is what the Orion necklace looks like on its own. It's just a really pretty, delicate little piece. And these come in, um, different colors as well and then this is the matching lariat now so on the lariat listing you can just choose lariat and any color you want um, and then or you can and you can choose to add the this piece for ten dollars this is usually 27 so it's a bit of a savings there and this is just an amazing gorgeous piece this offer for the for the basically the ten dollar orion is going to end on friday like end of work end of business day so don't miss out this is definitely one of like the most coveted pieces that I have it's not like can you guys tell it's sparkling and my viewfinder doesn't look very sparkly but it is really really sparkly and gorgeous um and also if you want like did you guys know I love to mix metals not a lot of people do but I do if you want like a pink Orion and like a gold lariat or silver and pink or whatever that's totally fine just leave that note in the note section and see there you go it's so sparkly if you need to move your neck a little bit it just sparkles like little stars anyway that's the promotion right now um and don't miss out. It's like such a cute set. It's gorgeous. And don't afraid to layer, you guys. Don't afraid to layer. You, you put the mix and match pendants, the mignon chokers, anything. It's so gorgeous. Okay.
Can we please keep in mind um, that hater comments aren't gonna matter because this is blowfish. So, haha. It's not actually me. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, I'm wearing. I'm still wearing these. I love them so much. That's pretty. Okay. Um, this is my new jacket I got, and I okay. Actually, like, I want your opinion, but I don't want it. You guys know how I am, and a lot of you guys are like, I love the way you guys get it. Like, I still want your opinion, but I'm still gonna do the fuck I want in the end anyway. Um, so this jacket, I like it, but yeah, it's huge. Even it's a size, it's a 36. And then I have the tag on still too, actually, because I'm just like nervous. Take it off. Um, it's like, I do that with all my bags too. I don't return shit, okay? I just, I leave tags on. I don't know why, like I, I think you guys know that about me too. Okay, so it's $12.95 and this is a size 36. Usually in jackets I wear like a 38 or like four. I, get, I, will, I will usually wear the biggest size because you guys know I like to wear bigger clothes. Um, but this is a 36, already oversized, so it's not like I'm a 36. <laughs> I'm usually really bigger than that. But I want to show you, it's Balenciaga. What do you guys think? Even though I like want to know, but I don't care at the same time. Is it? Let me show you the back. Can you see the back? I don't know, what do we think? I don't know, not that it matters because I'm keeping it and I'm like, I wear it all the time still, I just like throw it on. But is it really unflattering? Like that's what I wanna know because I'm gonna keep it anyway, but like how unflattering on a scale from like one to 10 is it? 10 being the worst, 10 being like, Alex, absolutely fucking not. And one being like, it's so amazing, you look like two pounds. <laughs> like what's the verdict? Like how horrible is it? Let me step out. I know, it looks like so boxy, just a huge box. I love it, I love it! <sighs> okay, so I um, changed, of course. I'm gonna wear the Adidas pants with my DSE BH shirt. I put a picture up of what I'm wearing right now on Instagram, um, and I'm wearing the black long lariat. I feel like, I just think it's really, really fucking cool like that. And then, um, I'm wearing, van I was wearing Vans, but I put on my slides because I feel like it's kind of hot, I don't know. I feel like I don't wanna put socks on and I have to put socks on so my feet don't ruin the sweat. And then I think we'll just wear this over like that. Just like that, just some, so. That's what I'm wearing. I'm gonna show you the back of the shirt. <gasps> you guys know the shirt, but I might as well just show you. Imagine me and you, I do, I think about you day and night. Are you ready for this shit? Let me get everything set up. Ming, you need to sit down. You need to sit. Okay. I will give you some pieces if you are nice. Never complain. You can never complain about nachos. It's only, I, it's only because I like instruct them how to do it, right? Because if you don't do it my way, you're gonna be a fat ass pig, okay? Because I'm like so skinny and I'm like so um, healthy. So you guys take my advice. I'm watching Dateline right now, of course. Okay, this is nachos with no cheese. Okay, no cheese, no sour cream. It just has chips, lettuce, salsa, guacamole, Carne asada beans. And I want to show you guys, okay, remember how like um, Rubio's was really good, but it was like called like California Fresh or Healthy? So um, it was like definitely a little bit like less like traditional Mexican food. This is like more traditional, so it's definitely more fanning, but these chips are like fucking bomb. They're like the, what, the thick ones that are like made there. Um, okay, they're, it just has a different, it just has that really authentic like Mexican food fucking taste. So fucking good. Okay. I'm saving like probably 800 calories. I'm not kidding by not getting the sour cream and the cheese. This basically, this meal is basically five calories, okay? No, it's not, okay. But I, the only thing I'm counting on this is the chips and the beans. I don't, I don't count fucking protein, okay? I don't fucking count meat. That's like nothing. Some sprinkles of meat, plus Ming eats the majority of it anyway. So it's just basically I'm eating chips and salsa like guacamole had just you guys know i don't typically ugh. whatever it's not that fucking bad okay oh my god the diet coke i look a fright because 
when I went to go put my, get my soda, the Diet Coke fucking started coming out clear. And I was like, oh my God, are you out of Diet Coke? And then she's like, no, no, no. They like had to hook it up. So thank God, I almost ruined, it almost ruined my whole dinner.